New York City is one of the greatest places in the world, and it's not for everyone to live in. You know, it's a very overwhelming city. It's crowded. There's a lot of stimulus going on, right? But there has never been a city that is so is, is filled with so much culture and and history in such a short amount of space. Um, it can be overwhelming to pick what to do. I obviously think it's great to do the big, the big attractions like Times Square, see a Broadway show, Wall Street, the 9-11 Memorial, the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, big things like that. After you've done that, try to explore some local neighborhoods, all right? Because uh, that's the real New York. Yes, we have these big pieces of our history and more uh, commercial neighborhoods, but go and explore a neighborhood like Greenwich Village or Soho or Chinatown or, or Upper West Side or Harlem even, right? Um, how I discovered New York City is that I would just walk around and get lost. So that's what I encourage people coming to New York City to do. Um, do the big stuff and then do the local New York. Walk around, get lost, discover a cafe, discover a restaurant, discover even a, another piece of little history that you didn't even know existed. That's, that's my biggest advice. So, if the weather is nice, go to Central Park. This is one of my very first memories of moving to New York, is that we, uh, we did a picnic in, on the Great Lawn. I didn't know how special it was. So maybe grab yourself, um, go to one of the local grocery stores, pick up something to eat. Because New Yorkers treat Central Park very different than any park I've ever seen, because it's their backyard. Most people don't have a backyard out here, so you will see a lot <laughs> in that park. Um, there's also a lot of wildlife. When the, the sun is starting to set, maybe you will see raccoons. Do not pet the raccoons. They are not very nice be afraid to get lost in this city. You know, it's not the 80s or the 90s anymore. Like, everywhere is pretty much safe. Go to the East Village. Go to Brooklyn. Go to Harlem. Just go places that people don't recommend. Find those, like, not for tourist guide, New York, and like, just go somewhere different. Go up to Fort Tryon Park, you know? Way up, like, past the heights, like the, t the top of Manhattan. Feel like you're at the top of the world. It's gorgeous. It doesn't even feel like you're in New York anymore.